I was invited to be a member of the show of shows, Max Liebman's office. Sid Caesar was there. Mel, this guy, Mel Brooks, was standing up. I didn't know who he was. I just came in to say hello to people. And he's a Jewish pirate. And he's complaining bitterly. He says, you know how hard it is to set sail today? I can't sail anymore. The cloth, the, the sail cloth is $14. Uh, a yard, I can't afford to pillage and rape any. This is no good. And The 2,000-year-old man was born the day after I saw Mel do that in the office. So he came over to me with a wire recorder and set it down and he said, ladies and gentlemen, here is a man who was actually at the scene of the crucifixion 2,000 years ago. Isn't that true, sir? And first words out of Mel was, oh boy. Yeah, oh boy, it was terrible. So you knew Jesus? He says, yeah, he came in the store. <laughs> he had 12 guys with him. They all wore sandals. They never bought anything out of candy store. They always asked for water. I gave them water. Nice boys. Did you know Joan of Arc? I went with her. I knew her. I went. I knew her intimately. So from 1950 to 1960, parties. Every party we ever went to, people say, get up, fellas, get up. And we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, Carl Reiner. I'd like to acknowledge three people who early on knew Mel Brooks was one of the funniest people in the world. Sid Caesar, me, and Mel Brooks. Uh, you know, when, when, when we saw Mel say, it's good to be the king, well, Mel, it's better to be one of your subjects because you have made your subjects laugh. I hail to you, King Kaminsky. <laughs>